My name is Kenji Dick, and welcome to my interview show. I'm a director, screenwriter, and on occasion a prostitute, but being a screenwriter, you should understand. Today we have a wonderful actor with us today named Gordon Tanner, who's been in such famous productions such as Inertia, The Reflection, Sarah, and recently Life at Death. Gordon, it's a pleasure to meet you. Hi Kenji, nice to meet you too. So I'm just going to take out the sheet of questions, because great. I'm just going to ask you some stuff. So how are you doing today? Uh, very well, very well. Um, Anything new and recently? Like, what's what have you been up to? Well, uh, I'm currently working at Royal Manitoba Theatre Centre in a production of Jane Eyre. Nice. Where I'm playing seven different characters. Nice. Uh, and before really? that, I, yeah, seven different characters. Huh. Right. Um, and before that, I was in uh, A Christmas Story, also at uh, MTC. All where right. I played the old man. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And you said seven different characters. That's, That's interesting. Right. Is it like is it like a one man play? Or? No, no. There's eight people in the cast, so there's about uh, you know forty characters on stage. Okay. Yeah, and it's uh, Jane Eyre, the novel by Charlotte Bronte. So oh, right. it's sort of okay. uh, Jane plays herself all the time, and Rochester, the male protagonist, plays himself all the time, and the rest of us, the other six of us, play all sorts of different characters. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Probably my biggest stretch is uh, playing the postmistress. <laughs> it talks like this. All right then. Wow, it's transformative. Uh, yeah, I, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I guess um, a big question is, how do you get started as an actor? Um, what, like, how did you get started? What inspired you to be an actor? And like, what were some of your biggest influences? Hmm. It's a good question. I I got started um, more or less accidentally. Uh, at the University of Manitoba where I was working on my master's degree in biosystems engineering. All right. And I took a wrong turn on campus one day and ended up in auditions for uh, the Black Hole Theatre production of Troilus and Cressida. Oh, okay. Got cast. Yeah. And and what year was this? This would have been 1993. All right. 1993. I did my first show at the Black Hole Theatre uh, in 1994. Sorry. Okay. Twenty years ago. Wow. Yeah. Exactly. Twenty years ago. Twenty years ago. It's the big anniversary. You should have a big anniversary party. I guess we should. Yeah. Maybe I'll leave it to you guys to plan that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Uh, so that's how I got started, and from there I ended up doing some fringe shows. I got into uh, an improv company. Yeah. Uh, and then I formed a sketch company with a bunch of other actors from the Black Hole Theatre called the Royal Lichtenstein Theatre Company. Lichtenstein Theatre. Yeah, yeah, and we performed for a number of years. We did a special on CBC TV at one point. Yeah. And um, that led to uh, the fact that I could play all those different characters in the sketch yeah. comedy show um, led uh, Stephen Chipper, who runs the Manitoba Theatre Centre, to ask me to come in and audition for a show that they have called The History of Manitoba from the Beginning of Time to the Present in 45 Minutes. Oh, okay. Uh, which is a, it's a high school show, it's like it toured high schools, but it requires playing a number of different characters, like 20 different characters. All right. Um, from Louis Riel to uh, Chief Pegasus. Okay. Yeah, so uh, that was my first show that I did at Manitoba Theatre Centre, and that was um, 12 years ago, something like that. And I've, I've done many more since then. All right, yeah. And so, like, I guess, so it was really mostly by accident, I guess. Honestly, mostly by accident. Wow. I did, uh, in high school, I was in our high school production of uh, Guys and Dolls, where I played Nathan Detroit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Um, that was uh, that was high school, and then I went into engineering at university and didn't really think any more about it. Yeah. Uh, until I sort of took a strange turn while I was working on my master's degree. Oh. Yeah. And then and then, uh, ironically, is it ironic or just coincidental? Um, I played in Detroit at MTC uh, about 20 years after I done it the first time. Wow. Yeah. So like everything is kind of been like leading up to this anniversary, I guess, because like, it's, it's kind of a recap. It's like <laughs> uh, Gordon Tanner, twenty years ago. Or that's maybe, right. Like maybe, yeah. Nathan Detroit. So I guess like, like were were there any massive influences over the years, like like any famous Hollywood actors or any local actors or anything like that? I don't. I haven't had um, Hollywood influences. Like oh, I'd like to be like that. Yeah. Particular. I mean, you know, when you watch an actor like Daniel Day Lewis. Perform, oh yeah, yeah, right. When you watch that, that truly transformative capacity that he has. To, yeah, you know, um, that's 
it's it's inspiring to see somebody do that. I've, yeah. I've never uh, you know tried to emulate him or any anybody else really. Um, and on a local basis, there were actors um, there are actors who I worked with early on who I thought um, embodied the kind of performance style. Like, like Rob Slade comes to mind. My friend Rob Slade who lives okay. in England now. Oh wow. Um, who I started out doing improv with hmm. a long, long time ago. With the Royal Victor Center? No, no. Rob Slade was with a, a theater company in Winnipeg called Theater X. Okay. Which, right. which was uh, ran in the 90s, probably the late 80s into the 90s. Right. And they were the first people that I saw perform improv. Yeah. Uh, at the old Prairie Theater Exchange when it used to be on Princess, where Red River College is now. Okay. That's where Prairie Theater Exchange used huh. to be. Yeah. Wow. Hard to believe it. Yeah, the, the more you know. I'm, I'm too young. I you're too young. I was <laughs> going to say it, but I'm glad you said it yourself. <laughs> yeah. You're not too young, you're just young. You're just I'm just young. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't always in a mall. <laughs> so, um, I guess over the last 20 years of you acting, what were some of your favorite stage productions? Like, I guess, like from experience or working with other actors or directors? Sure, absolutely. Um, so, well, Guys and Dolls was a big favorite because yeah. it's a, it was a big show, it was a big role for me. Um, and we did it in three cities. It was Winnipeg, Edmonton, Calgary, so that was exciting. Wow. It, and it ran for three months, so uh -huh. it was a long time to perform a role. Yeah. Um, so that was that was a great experience. Um, Dry Cold, there's a company in town called Dry Cold that does musical theater, and I did a production of Assassins with them, Stephen Sondheim's Assassins, where I got to play John Wilkes Booth. Okay. You know who John Wilkes Booth was? Sadly, I do He assassinated... Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Okay, I'm really bad. There's a great line in history. Assassins where there's a great line in Assassins where John Wilkes Booth is talking to Lee Harvey Oswald. Like it's John Wilkes Booth, sort of the ghost of, is talking to Lee Harvey Oswald. Yeah. And he and Oswald says, "Who are you?" And John Wilkes Booth says, "My name is John Wilkes Booth." <laughs> and Oswald says, uh, "John Wilkes Booth assassinated Abraham Lincoln." And Booth says, "The tension has been paid." <laughs> Very satisfying. I thought, wow. Uh, those are a couple of favorites, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and all of the um, the sketch comedy stuff that I did with my with my comedy troupe, the Royal Lincoln Theatre Company. I say my, but our. Yeah. I mean the one that I belonged to. Yeah. yeah. My troupe was uh, there were seven of us. Okay. Um, a lot of fun memories there. All right. Cool. And so I guess. Let's let's go to the cameras, I guess. And what was your, some of your favorite film productions? And I guess I haven't really asked you this part. Like, what was your first film production, and then what's some of your favorites? Right, my first, the first sort of speaking part that I had in a film that I auditioned for and was cast in was um, that was produced by Buffalo Gal, which is a Winnipeg production company. Yeah. Um, who have just grown and grown over the years. They're doing great work still, yeah, more and more every year. Um, and it was written by Paula Kelly. And it was called the Epiphany Rules. All right. Uh, there was a large Winnipeg cast, and it was a short film. It was like twenty minutes long, I think. And um, and I played a <laughs> I played a character whose name was Riel, but who had in the script it said he had the hint of a British accent. So uh, <laughs> and he was kind of a bad dude. He was kind of a yeah. He, he ended up leading a young woman down yeah. a runaway. Yeah. She had run away from home, and he led her down the path into. A, a, a dark life. Yeah. So nothing like Louis Riel. <laughs> nothing, nothing like Louis Riel. <laughs> absolutely unlike Louis Riel in every way. Yeah. And yeah, I remember you were mentioning that earlier. That was filled with a nook, right? Or something. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Good memory. By the way, great restaurant if you're ever in the Winnipeg area. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Sherbrooke and um, Sherbrooke and Westminster. Sherbrooke yes, and that's right. Sherbrooke and Wolseley. Yeah. Mm. It's a really good place. I like going there all the time. So. All right, that's pretty cool. And oh, well, did I already? I think I already asked you this question. You may have already answered it. Um, just the brain for I'll just give you the same answer, <laughs> or maybe a different like, answer. Uh, I guess what was one of your favorites? Was that one of your favorites? Or? Uh, <laughs> well, it's a fun memory in the sense that it was the first. It yeah. Was the first film that I auditioned for, and I got cast in it, and I felt really like, okay, I'm on the right path. And yeah. I got I got cast, so I must be doing something right. So, um, and it was a. It, you know, for somebody who hadn't done something like that, it was a lot of days of shooting, actually. And yeah. Actually, compared to um, a lot of the movies that we Winnipeg actors audition for here, where when you do get cast, it's as 
you know, cop number two or school teacher. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, something like that, man on street. Yeah. Um, where it's one day at the most, two days of filming. You know, there there isn't a lot of time on camera there. But if, with the Epiphany Rule, I had like a, a week of filming, I think, every day. Huh. So it was a good experience in that sense. Yeah. Yeah. And then shortly after that, I did, um, and this was through my improv background too. I it was the first time I worked with a Winnipeg filmmaker named Sean Gary. Oh yeah, that's right. It was Inertia. Right? Yeah, exactly. Inertia, which was we um, we created that through improvisation. We did. We would meet sort of on a weekly basis. We met for months, and yeah. we would meet, and Sean would give us the premise of the scene, and then the characters who were in the scene would just improvise the dialogue. We would make up the scene as we went along. He filmed it, and then he took all these hours and hours of video that he had, yeah. Yeah. had the improvisations, and sort of collapsed it down into. He actually went to live in Japan for a year, huh. um, and while he was there, he. Uh, he collapsed it all down into a script, into wow. a scripted version, yeah. based on our improvisations. And then he came back and we we shot that. Okay. So that was, uh, when was that, around 1999, 2000, something like that. All right, okay. We did that, so, and that was also a big, there were sort of four key roles in that, and I was one of those people. Yeah. And um, so that was a very, yeah, you know, a learning experience in a lot of, uh, a lot of fun. Yeah. With a lot of people that I really still enjoy performing with today. Yeah. Sarah Constable, Mike Bell. Yeah. All right then. Um, so, recently, um, a lot of people have been noticing that you've been involved with Owens Creek Films, and I guess what we're wondering is what's your involvement with them, or with us, I guess. Well, yes. I mean, um, primarily, I, uh, I live near Owens Creek. Yeah. And so I feel anything with the name Owens Creek attached to it is something I'd like to be involved with. Yeah. That's not entirely true. <laughs> how, how long have we lived down the street from each other, Kenji? Uh, that's a really good question. Actually, uh, we moved in in 2004. Yes. Oh, that's right. That's right. I was biking down the road, biking around down the sidewalk, and then I fell over, and then you helped me up. And then that's how I met Ben. You have a very good memory. Yes. I remember me and Ben did not have the. No, we have not had the smoothest relationship. You didn't get off to the greatest start. No, not the greatest start at all, but. Hey, we st we were stubborn, and I guess that's where we are now, which is good. Yes. So yes. Um, so, anyways, I I I mean, you you and Ben Ben, who is my son, uh, <laughs> have known each other since two thousand and four, uh, and and you started making films. Uh, ten? No, not ten years ago. <laughs> well, I mean, we met ten years we ago. We met ten years ago. But you start you first started making like animated uh, stop motion animation stuff. That's right. Couple. It's got to be six years, five five six years ago. Uh, yeah. yeah. When did the name Omens Creek Films first get used? Uh, I just started being used this year. Okay. Because for the longest time, I mean, I know this is your. Oh, it's Craig Street Productions. Yeah, it was Craig Street Productions or Surfing Skeleton Productions. Right. Because we were elementary kids and we liked stuff that was cool like that. That's right. And what first made you be interested in making films, Kenji? Uh, a lot of. The interviewer turns it on the interviewee. <laughs> oh, I got that wrong. Interviewee turns it on the interviewer. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Right. I, I guess just to quickly answer that question, um, I think like a lot of filmmakers I watched when I was younger really influenced me. Um, a generic one you could say is, oh, I mean, the really uh, common used one for that whenever somebody says what's the big influence is probably George Lucas with Star Wars because I mean that that was pretty influential, right? But I think other filmmakers such as like Guy Madden with My Winnipeg. As well as like numerous other like like I can't really name them all off the top of my head, but there, like there are many other really talented filmmakers I think like Spike Jones mm -hmm. um, and I'm just trying to remember a few other one of my favorites. Uh, I, I can't name them all now, but like there there are many movies that really inspired uh, like a, a lot of our films right now. But that is another interview for another time to go into that. This is your interview after uh, I got interviewing you, so um I guess. Uh, I, I guess I want to ask now, any upcoming productions, whether that comes to stage or film with Owens Creek Films or anything like that? Right. Um, I'm performing in Jane Eyre until February 1st. All right. And then um, I have an open calendar, so okay. anybody who's interested in hiring me, I'll be available February 1st. <laughs> 
But I thought, okay. I, I, I think that was a pretty subtle order. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, what? Well, I guess here's a little fun question. Uh, what's your favorite movie um, or stage production that you were not a part of, like that you've watched? Like, I guess, what's your favorite movie? I guess, and I know it's a very, that's a very uh, big question. You can state one of your favorites, maybe a very a movie you saw recently that you really liked. Sure. You know what? I'm just gonna go with one that I've used for years because I'm not really, I'm not really great at the favorites game. Yeah. I, I, it's a little too. Um, requires too much focus for me. I'm not sure, <laughs> but I've always loved Casablanca. That's yeah. a safe one for me to say. I love the simplicity of the story and the, the perfection of the performances. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah. So Casablanca is a, an all-time favorite for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, stage productions. Uh, uh, I mean, I will list one that I was in, but it's also a. It's among my favorite yeah. plays that I that I know of. Uh, Our Town. Okay. Martin Wilder, which we did at MTC about three, three or four years ago. I thought it was a beautiful story. Yeah. If you have a chance to check that out. Okay. Cool. And um, anything else you want to say, perhaps to our audience or to anyone in particular? Keep on watching because Bowman's Creek Films has great things in store for all of you. I'm sure of it. All right. Thank you very much, Gord. It was a pleasure to talk to you today. Thanks, Kenji. All right. So, next time we'll have Jenny Bordeaux in the house. and. Uh, yeah, thank you very much.